If you're looking for ideas to fill your art journal with stunning creations, then this series is definitely for you. Hi, I'm Ashley from theashleycasper.com. I'm a creative soul deeply passionate about art and leveraging the power of online business to achieve both time and financial freedom. In this series, I'll take you through my personal journey of filling up my art journal using simple, affordable supplies. Think dollar store watercolors and whatever treasures that I find hidden in my art studio. Whether you're a seasoned artist or just starting out, there's something here for everyone. So grab your journal and let's get creative together. On today's episode, we're going to be creating a galaxy themed page. I have had galaxies dancing in my head all night of, you know, dark colors and bright colors all combined. It just, something about that really uh, draws me in, the visuals of it. So I wanted to bring that visual to life. So we're going to start out with a light pink and we're just going to create a circle on the page. So we're going to begin just filling in this circle. And, um, you know, I'm working with a pink here, but maybe you, see, maybe you see yellows or purples or greens or light blue. Um, the idea is that you want to put the lighter color in the background. And there's something very relaxing about swirling that brush around. So don't worry about the streaks. Don't, don't overthink it. Now I'm going to upgrade to a little bit of a darker pink. And I'm going to focus on that outer ring again kind of pull some of that color in towards the center and we're going to work that color in towards the middle a little bit now we're going to go in with a darker purple and I'm going to focus on the edges and you'll see me kind of pull the colors together like just put little blobs of paint and water there and I'm just really trying to get a more natural flow which can sometimes be challenging when you're using cheaper art supplies like these dollar store paints um so i'm okay with it and you know we're just playing and having fun here so not looking for perfection but that's kind of the what i'm attempting to do there so just play with your colors until you find what works and so i just dried with a hair dryer in between layers i'm going to go in with darker colors now and i didn't want them to continue to bleed together so now I'm going in with on a dry layer and again just going in with a little bit darker and focusing on that outer circle and working in just a little bit and you'll see my circle start to get a little bit bigger and yours probably won't end up looking exactly like mine and that is totally okay they're not meant to look the same just have fun with it And once again, I'm going in with a little darker, just kind of slowly working my way up to the black for the galaxy. Now we're swapping to the black. So I'm swapping palettes because I prefer, I feel like the black on this palette is a lot more of a stronger pigment. And so I'm starting at the edge of that circle, just like I have on all those other colors. And I want to kind of blend this in a little bit, and let those colors mix, the purple and the black. Let some of it peek through and kind of let it pull up in other areas. Just swirling and working my way around. And here I'm really focusing the darker black around the edge of that circle and kind of expanding it out a little bit. Now I like the streakiness, but I still want that natural kind of cloudy look that you would expect to see in a galaxy. So I dropped a few water droplets on the page to get it a little more wet and get the colors to blend a bit better together getting some of the lighter purple on my brush since the, those colors were already dried I want to kind of mix that purple and black but I don't want it to be too overpowering so just kind of 
just spreading that liquid around on the page, hoping that it's going to absorb and kind of puddle up in some areas. And I take it to dry it again. And so you can kind of see there's a couple of streaks that happen in the drying process, but I'm not going to stress too much about that. I'm just going to move on. And so now what I want to do is add some other little colors with it, like streaky colors more in the background of the galaxy. I don't even know what to call these things. I, I guess you could call, call them galaxy clouds. I have no clue. I haven't done that research. <laughs> but I love the colors and the streakiness and the way that it fades from the lighter blue to the black. And you'll see as I do that with kind of the same method of just adding darker colors to the edges and letting the colors bleed together. bled together quite beautifully and I was really pleased with the way it turned out. And now I'm just going to take more of the black and fill in the rest of the pages, or not pages, fill in the rest of the page. And um, once again, I really wanted those edges to bleed on the blue and the black especially. And I knew that it wasn't going to bleed with the black edge that I had pre-dried of the circle, which is fine. And you'll see as I go through this that I just continue to add new layers and more water to help those edges become a little softer and blend a little better. And there's that. Now we are going to add the stars to our galaxy and I'm going to use some white acrylic paint and just a fine point, fine tip, one of my watercolor paint brushes honestly. I'm sure there's probably a rule in the watercolor world against using watercolor brushes with acrylic but it was what was working best for me in that moment. Um, so really it's just dipping and being very delicate with your touch to get little you know however big and tiny you want your specs for your stars and dabbing that all over the page and then we're gonna take our paint and just add a little detail to a couple of the stars to add a little glimmer to the page. And the way that I like to do this is literally just picking whichever star I wanna do that to and adding almost like a cross um, of four lines, one on top, one on the bottom, and then one on each side and spreading that out. Thanks so much for joining me on this artistic adventure. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and follow for more content just like this. I'd love to see your art journal creations too, so feel free to share them with me in the comments. Remember, there's no limits to creativity, and with a few simple tools, you can create something truly beautiful. Until next time, keep creating and stay inspired. Bye for now. Be sure to visit theashleycasper.com for more free and helpful content for creative entrepreneurs.